and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Fiora. That's going to be our next one here. So we are looking for the third uh, deck for the seasonal tournament this weekend. We know we're going to be playing Garen Poppy, which is going to be Demacia Ionia, and Action Shivana, which is going to be Demacia Sharima. And thinking about maybe playing Thralls for the third deck, but another option, but I was trying to think of like what could be another good Demacia deck. So you all know that I really like these Demacia decks where you get to do a lot of challenging. And so looking through, maybe having Fiora and Lulu together. We still get, you know, all of our, you know, good, you know, challengers with Demacia. Basically a deck that's very, very similar to Garen Poppy. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of Demacia cards, but then we'll be playing a couple of different champions. Fiora, Lulu. These two champions work really well together. Lulu supporting Fiora to make Fiora a 4-4. Um, you know, that that's always good. But then Lulu does great with all sorts of other challengers as well. Um, you know, growing anything else. And also, uh, we can play, we're going to be playing Bandle City instead of Ionia. I would like Ionia because I would like Young Witch, but you can only have one deck that's Demacia and Ionia, which we already have with Garen and Poppy. So we have to go to a different region so we can play Bandle City with Lulu. And so instead of Young Witch, we're going to be playing Yordle Smith, where Yordle Smith can be giving a lot of things quick attack instead of just the one thing that it's going to be supporting. Now, we want to make Yordle Smith larger. Of course, Lulu does a good job of that. Uh, but then we are also going to be playing Laurent Blade Keepers in here for our four mana slot. Um, Laurent Blade Keeper is awesome with both champions, right? Making Lulu a 5 5 makes it a lot better, you know, easier to support with this. Again, Fiora, give plus two, plus two. That's pretty obvious why that's good. But then also getting Yordle Smith, give that thing plus two, plus two. Um, pretty awesome also. So we're going with all the Blade Keepers. And then we'll have like, you know, our Swiftwing flights that if, if you watch the Garen Poppy videos, you know, we're, we frequently make like Silverwing Vanguard and get a whole bunch of challengers. Well, if we get up, if we can go wide with the challengers, the Yorl Smith can give like all of them quick attack. So that could be pretty cool. So we're going to be trying that out. We'll have Screeching Dragon, another challenger and Radiant Guardian for some lifesteal at the top end. Uh, and that's kind of about it. Besides that, it's basically same kind of stuff. We got like one extra slot, Conchologist. Just playing this for the one extra slot so we get a body that we can play on round two. They can also get a cool spell like Sharp Sight, Single Combat, Ranger's Resolve, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but that's that's just kind of like the last card. This could be a Laurent Protégé, could be, you know, a, a Loping Telescope, Bandle City Mayor, you know, like all sorts of stuff. You could even play like a Bandle Commando. You can play lots of things in this slot. Whatever, whatever card you like, go and play it there. All right, but let's go and give it a try. Um, I'm also playing Concerned Strikes instead of Single Combats because our units aren't as big with the Garen Poppy deck. Like, Garen really likes Single Combat, but Fiora likes Concerted Strike, so we're going to be going Concerted Strike instead. All right, let's give it a try. We'll go play five games in ranked with Lulu Fiora. All right, so we got Darkness Control. Now these kind of Demacia Challenger decks, they can struggle against the decks that just play um, all sorts of different removal spells and just grind you out, right? Like these are, like that's the kind of bad matchup. You want to face other Poppy decks and other decks with like a lot of units because that gives you the ability to get good use out of all of your uh, Challengers. So quite unfortunate. We have to waste a Bright Steel Protector. That was a great card for them to have. We have to waste that Bright Steel Protector. We also don't get a hold up mana for Sharp Sight. That was just not a good round for us. Uh, not a good round in the slightest. Yeah, this looks bad. Quite bad. So this card and Fiora are basically the same thing. Might as well play the 4 mana card instead of the 3 mana card. Okay. 
So that was a likely outcome, but at least they don't get to play any champion this round. This fighter doesn't matter. Does mean now Screeching Dragon is vulnerable to another darkness. Ranger's Resolves would be pretty good at protecting these Silverwing Vanguards, but... Alright, gonna go play the Vanguards so they can challenge the 3-2 and the 2-2. We have to make that challenge with the 2-2 two -two so, so the Screeching Dragon doesn't die to, to the darkness. Planning on using the Concerta Strike this round. Where are you? Yeah, so just one mana deal four now. Acolytes, wow, they do. Yep, so this is what we can struggle against. This is just too, too strong, making just creating and generating all these one mana deal fours. Too strong against us. A little late there, Rangers Resolve. A little late. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Deal is yours. Well, good thing we didn't play key for that. Virtue guides me. I mean, they, they'd already played two Acolytes, so it wasn't exactly likely they had another one. Alright, that's our that's our worst matchup there. And so, if I play, you know, play this deck, play another Demacia deck, we're, we're going to be banning Darkness Control, that's for sure. Draven Scion. Alright, so this is going to be a deck that attacks a lot more. It'll be interesting to just kind of see how we do. Hello. They also, you know, do play removal. Your mystic shots, your get excited, that kind of stuff. Can fry a ferret. 
Well, that's because I cannot fry a ferret very quickly. Game's built on champions. We gotta find one. We're going to have success. You're covered. We're not gonna win without a champion. I'm kind of planning on playing the Raiding Guardian, but then playing multiple of these. Let's go and play the Screeching Dragon. Things have Fearsome, which is kind of annoying, but... Alright, so if I if I resolve... Like, what's better? Sharp Sight or Resolve? So, uh, Sharp Sight, we go to 7... They can do four, five, six, so we survive. Resolve, this does one, which is four. This would do three, which we still survive. I think we save Sharp Sight, I think Sharp Sight's more valuable. So the four twos are gonna hit me, but then we can get them back with the two ones. I think that's worth it. Yeah, that's worth it. Let's go get our Radiant Guardian in play. Justice will be served. Good. I like seeing, like, you know, we should be able to handle this stuff. Screeching Dragon. Get, yeah, that that goes away. All right, I think striking strikes. The Man, it's a lot of boom boons. I can challenge a one one with the Fiora, but they use that spinning axe and make it a two one. Do this. I have the best job. By my honor, you must die. Do you think... Yeah, I think we'll go and... Yeah, yeah. So they'll have three spinning axes. But 
Draven's gone. We're up to 15. Burns on. You can use two spinning axes and, you know, challenge Fiora, kill Fiora with that. Is key. Consideration for not blocking. Consideration for not blocking with this Conchologist whenever it's going about, whenever it's about to have quick attack. Yeah, that is not the, not the line they wanted to do. All right, that'll do. One and one for Lulu Fiora. That's you know we want to we want to be facing combat decks, right? So I could I could see playing this or playing thralls. It's, you know. Zoe Nami. All right, let's see if we can challenge a bunch of elusives. That's the goal. I mean, sharp sight should be good against a bunch of elusives, but I also want to curve out with units. So we got our sharp sight right back. This is a good hand though. This is like kind of like if we could ask exactly what we want, this is kind of it. Say like having the attack token on round one, round three, you know, being able to have like the Lulu support, the fleet feather tracker. You'll keep sharp side available for removal. But that's the best card they can have. Something the matter. Good quality hit with their double trouble also, they get an additional card. So they have that one that right there is gonna be fleeting. Alright, so I'm playing. Swift Wing Flight this round, and then Embrace the current or be swept away. I am the Tide Caller. I will drive back the darkness. What's up, Tide Caller? Ah! Probably like Fiora plus Bright Steel Protector next round. Go just tracker Fiora. Oh, we could open attack. Ooh, we got a rally. Yeah, all right. Maybe we open attack. Okay, so we want to do this way. So Lulu happens first, gives plus four, plus four, then or makes it a four four, then gets the buff, so makes it a five five. So Pell Cascade doesn't save Nami. But I guess two pill cascades would. I think this is lethal. Right? I don't know. I didn't do the math. A lot of damage. <clears throat> 13. Oh, they're at 14. We're doing 13. Close. Golden Ages, what is up? Alright, this was a perfect hand. Just this game. This is this was a perfect hand. Good to know. My shield is yours. Oh, 
Rally? That'll do. Two and one. I like it. The music's good on the board. Yeah, I like this new board music. Yeah, that's a good call for the background music. It is it is fighting game music. It's like Super Smash Brothers melee music. Zigs, pop it. Pop it, Zigs. All right, good opener. Everything's in place. Oh, that hurts. I could have gone barrier also. But yeah, barrier is better for later. Just need a second. Um let's go. three we played you know three units and and a spell and we're still down to 12 so nothing to use spell mana on but I kind of want to pass always two steps ahead what that is wonderful. Never mind, Fiora is the best card in the game. Sometimes you just need a little bait. And the little fishies will jump up and grab it. Alright, we want a Radiant Guardian? Yeah, we want a Radiant Guardian. Now we can like, you know, Blade Keeper. I, mean, I guess we could Blade Keeper this Yordle Smith. So that then, you know, gives quick attack to all this other stuff. But you know, I was thinking about giving the blade the oh, let's do that. I was thinking about giving it to the Radiant Guardian, so that you know, then just keep growing the Radiant Guardian, but maybe it's better to give this one to the Yordle Smith. Get some old quick attack going. on the protector. What is that thing do? It explodes, of course. Go ahead. Light the fuse. Light the fuse. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Strength and grace. Beauty in the blade. Yep, that'll do. Man, we've had some good hands the last couple of games. Showing what our deck's trying to do. Radiant Guardian, Blade Keeper, just grow that thing up. Radiant Guardian is awesome against some decks in the metagame, like those decks. Like, there's a lot of those aggro decks that Radiant Guardian is just great against. Start today, 0 LP up to 65. Good sign. Alright, so there's one card in their deck that can defeat us, Lee Sin. If they have Lee Sin, and they have a lot of stuff to go with Lee Sin, we lose. That's how it is. Oh, this is a bad hand. Where's our curve out? We've had two like really good curve out hands in a row. Yuck. I 
Yep, starting to look like a 3-2 day right now, right about now. Ooh, oh hey, what's that? Got him. 18. It's probably the deal three. I mean, I guess it could just be I the Dragon. Only one of the two. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. So probably the, uh, I guess it could see either way. All right, it's got to be deal three, right? Because if it's Eye of the Dragon, they're probably just like casting it and getting Eye of the Dragon, right? So was I the dragon? Interesting. Ah! Maybe we should have gotten the two three one challengers. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Beauty and the blade. Cheating. So the problem with letting it stay alive is that they could go towards leveling up, but I, I don't really mind letting it stay alive because I'm planning on Golden Ages next round. Um, are they going to be playing three other spells they haven't played yet, though? I don't know. I, so I want to save the spell. Like, I want to save Sharp Sight for, you know, Lee Sin and, you know, like all that kind of stuff. Alright, well, now I have to use it. I don't want to give them super cool star charts. Yeah, I should have. I probably should have grabbed Silver Wing. I didn't grab Silver Wing, so I was looking at like a lot, of, like a lot of four mana cards already in hand. That's why I didn't get the um, the Silver Wing Vanguard. What I probably just still it now. Oh, maybe we do we save Golden Ages? For my lady. I need only one to win. Ah, look at this Look how Okay. You give everybody quick attack. Challenge, challenge, challenge. See, this is pretty sweet. This is a cool combo. Yordle Smith with Blade Keeper. This is a cool combo. The finest blades for my I need only one to win. I need only one. Rude. Strike, then you strike. So that'll be a third kill for Fiora. Cool. 
And I just have all these other challengers. Alright, that'll do, because we'll just have the 2-1 challenge and then, you know, all that stuff doing Nexus damage. And that's going to be a 4-1 and one for Lulu Fiora. Alright, there we go. There was Lulu Fiora. Another, a 4-1. Really good showing. We did lose to that Darkness Control for the first match, uh, where we saw how that's a, just a really tough matchup for us, how they just generate removal spell after removal spell after removal spell with all those things creating darknesses. That's a tough matchup for us. And, and that's a deck... If I'm playing the other two decks that I want to be playing, Garen Poppy and, and Action Shivana, we're going to be banning it darkness control like that's not going to be the matchup that we're going to face um i would rather face you know anything else basically and so i could see playing this deck also right you know just kind of go just kind of lean into that just have all of these decks that are all kind of the same that all um you know like i i really like demacia right i i, I play these challenger decks really well i i feel uh, i feel like this is exactly my style of gameplay and so we can have like three of these uh you know kind of just challenger you know, challenger built decks that, you know, a b whole bunch of golden ages, right? Just playing nine copies of golden ages. I could see doing that for the third deck. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, let me know. What do you think? Should we be playing this or should we be playing thralls? You know, let me know which one you think that we would do better with. Uh, we can't play, yeah, we can't play Poppy because like, so I'm playing Garen Poppy in another deck and we're playing Action Shivana. So, so Shivana, Garen, and Poppy are all gone when we're looking at champions. And Fiora is pretty good, but maybe not necessarily better than uh, Laurent Protégé. So another option could be uh, play Laurent Protégé at three instead of Fiora. You know, Protégé is a two, four. The two, four kind of lines up well with the Yordle Smith um, originally also and just has a lot of health. And then maybe you play like some Jarvins at the top end. Maybe you trim like one each, like only play two Screeching Dragon, two Radiant Guardian, and then like two Blade Keepers, and you play three Jarvins instead. But I don't, I don't know if that's going to actually be better. I don't know if I love Jarvin in this meta game. And then that's a lot of fives and sixes at that point. So I think, I think maybe just sticking with Fiora, because you know we we can get some Fiora wins. Um, you know it's possible with you know the help of Concerted Strike, Repose, Golden Ages. And then, of course, Yordle Smith. I loved the Yordle Smith plus uh, Laurent Bladekeeper combo. That was really cool. And, uh, you know, Swiftwing Flight is always doing its thing. And and obviously, Lulu plus Yor Yordle Smith's a good combo also. But it's it's not easy to have those two Yordles together. And, uh, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So we have, like, two options there to make Yordle Smith larger that it gives the Fiora Quick Attack. You can either have the you know the Lulu Yordle Smith or Blade Keeper Blade Keeper Yordle Smith. Blech. Either one. And then doing either one of those, then Yordle Smith's giving everything quick attack. Um, and your life's pretty good, because everything is like four or less power. Alright, but anyway, that's gonna be Lulu Fiora. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know. What do you think? Should we be playing Thralls for the third deck? Should we be playing this one for the third deck? How'd you like it? Let me know over there. Alright, but that's it for Lulu Fiora, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.